Well, we're back in the marina in uh, Crick and uh, we're going to continue with our decluttering of our van <laughs> and the boat and our shed as well. We have a shed that um, is way up the back by reception. Um, so we're going to show you what's in there tell you what we're getting rid of and that's pretty much nearly everything that's in there I don't know why we've got it um, also there's a whole load of stuff in the van that we're that we're not gonna need I'll just show you um, the van's in a state of um, mid uh, redo if you like so um, <laughs> we've got these little storage boxes in various places underneath and so on so um, that <laughs> that bowl we bought as a temporary thing for Spain that that's probably going also um, we've not even moved out the awning that sits up there while we traveled also you know there's lots of bits and pieces it's, it's we're jammed full um, I think there's all sorts of bits and pieces in there as well. Um, there's a now uh, not used um, dash cam that will be going. I've actually got two um, dash cam stroke reversing cameras um, that. I'll be getting rid of um, because I'm not going to fit them to this van because um, well when we get when we get the new bigger van I'm going to be having proper reversing and dash cam on there so I'm not going to worry with this because we you know we're we're thinking upgrade the van uh, in 25 so 2025 it's 2024 now what's the month April <laughs> Wendy's sitting here <laughs> <laughs> and we're we're both gonna be well we're, we're gonna drive the van around closer to the shed yes show you what's in the shed <clears throat> and tell you everything we don't we don't want to keep and don't need aren't we yes <laughs> oh, there's so oh, it's much. So stressful. So there's so stressful. much stuff. There's yes. so much stuff. So here we are at the shed, and you will see <laughs> it's not completely jam-packed, but um, we've got one, two, three, four, four boxes, storage boxes at the back. Underneath that, there's a the big uh, T4 Outdoor Revolution T4 awning. There's the new little awning here. Um, and we've decided that we're going to get rid of those so that we don't have to store them um, for the time we're going to store stuff like that it's actually cheaper not to pay for storage so uh, a year's storage um, is is going to be about well, over a thousand pounds 1500 probably um, so it's cheaper to buy brand new, I think, and better when we're ready to do that. So we've got loads of stuff in there that we're gonna be downsizing and decluttering. But it's, you know, it's just, what do you do with it? You know, we're trying to sell stuff. So if you want an awning, um, a Outdoor Revolution Cayman, three meter by three meter square footprint um, or an outdoor revolution t4 you can find one of those online and see the specs um, actually I did a video of it a while ago um, or actually we're getting rid of these um, Jorvik, uh, Jorvik um, wind brakes you hammer them into the hard surface or grass 
they're pretty good they're made of uh, strong vinyl PVC stuff so that's uh, that's that also a portable workbench that I'll no longer need so um, that's it really that's the you know we're starting on our decluttering um, I've got a couple of boxes down here and that is um, that's all car cleaning or paintwork cleaning renovation sort of stuff because we need to give the van a really good clean on the inside and the outside and the boat needs a lot of TLC just to get it up to a spec where people won't think oh that's mucky so um, so that's what we're doing but more uh, decluttering as we go we're going to show you the inside of the boat all the little drawers um, so stay tuned for that coming up We're still decluttering and uh, clearing out drawers like this one down here and uh, we have a load of load of stuff um, just like this two kilo uh, arm weight that I use occasionally but it is occasionally when I'm sitting bored <laughs> in the evening I'll sometimes do some arm curls with that little two kilo weight just to keep the keep the muscles flexed a little bit um but it's i, I think they i think that's got to go um you know we've got we've got too just too much too much too much um going on i mean all the we've got the the cutlery drawer which you can see here with too many utensils going on other stuff here I don't think I don't think much of that will be coming with us in fact um, the uh, cutlery set that um, I've spoken about before that we bought some sort of 20 odd years ago uh, that's going to my son uh, he, he wants those along with a couple of other bits and pieces um, I've got tools power tools that specifically I bought to effect repairs and changes on the boat so I won't need those things like this uh, little multi-tool thing here this, uh, really really useful um, a drill driver it's a impact screwdriver and lots of other other stuff like sanders angle grinder <laughs> um, all sorts of stuff like that that have been really really useful while I've been um, sort of bringing the boat up to a sort of a more modern spec than it was um, previously when we moved on to the boat here all here was a a sort of 19 <laughs> what looked like a 1950s glass cocktail cabinet thing that stuck out halfway um, full of glasses um, so that that's gone um, other stuff that's you know that had to be removed and uh, replaced things I mean I've used the tools to cut wood to put a shelf unit in so you can't you can't buy a standard sort of square shelf unit to go in there because the wall you might not see it but it's the wall 
comes in at about an angle of seven degrees so you have to cut things to uh, to shape as it were but you know um, there's lots and lots of just stuff everywhere you know the um, <laughs> the the cupboards, uh, cupboards, in, cupboards in the bedroom, um, not looking too bad now. We're getting there. Um, we had, uh, I used um, another sort of shelving unit that I that I installed, homemade, um, to the boat when we bought these. Um, little baskets that I used to keep all my clothes in so I had uh, sort of underwear shirts and shorts uh, trousers there and then uh, there's a wardrobe here that is now empty um, and that also houses the uh, electrical stuff so all that's empty so we've cleared that out um, We've got a little bit of stuff in here. Wendy, Wendy's done some washing and she's put in my uh, clean underwear and t-shirts and the t two pairs of um, jogging bottoms and a pair of jeans. I think two pairs of jeans as well. So I think... Um, and then up here, Wendy's got her sort of folded up, folded up clothes there as well. But they, I mean, that's, those three baskets were full of my stuff. The wardrobe was full of um, various bits, some for me, some for Wendy. Um, but we've cleared down a lot of those things now. And we're getting to a position where we are, well, we do have less stuff. I mean, there's things like um, these... <laughs> these uh, letters that I I bought uh, a couple of bags of those at, um, for a sort of little photography project that I was doing um, you know and things like this this lovely uh, cherry bowl that we bought 20 years ago in a little place called Marysville in Australia um, memory of a visit you know but there you go it's got to go because we don't have a space for it we don't have a space for it so it has to go especially as we're now you know looking to sort of cram everything we own into a van and uh, you know live that way so on we go with more clearing a out, bit more decluttering, we've decided that um, saucepans like this and frying pan like this are <laughs> not the thing. So we've had um, we've had for a while a ridge monkey um, that we managed to break. Don't don't ask me how I don't know I don't know how. So we bought a new one, much flatter. So that that pan like that opens up and actually makes into two pans if you can get them apart. <laughs> they can, they do come apart like that. So you can make two pans out of that. They come with little uh, plastic utensils that we. I think we normally eventually throw those away. I don't know. So, um, so we bought that, and then we thought, well, what about a saucepan? I just, I can't put that together with one hand. But what about a saucepan? So Wendy, Wendy saw online, and oh, Wendy saw online and recommended. Um, another, <laughs> this is the lid, so it's a little griddle pan, and it comes with 
a big saucepan element. So, so you get to put the put the lid on. They go on with two little hooks in a special way. They go on like that. So you lift it up 45 degrees, then take it off. But they that comes like that. But the good thing about that is that they are both exactly the same size. Take up maybe maybe a, a less room in terms of the footprint, but same height for the same height for the saucepan really. Um, <laughs> might actually be a bit bigger, so minimalising decluttering. But I think that's um, those two things. And I'll show you in comparison those two things and those two things that is much bigger but you'll see the saucepan is much bigger but doesn't take up much more room and then we've got th actually three frying pans that we can do things in because we've got a little barbecue um that we can use those ridge bunkers on as well they're really really um useful right and versatile i think and you can you when you're cooking something in there it's all sealed down and they take up a lot less room in the, in the drawer at least they're more sort of storable if you like so um i'm going to put the pan so that pan fits there, then so that one just fits right on top of it, no worries. So um, these two things will go, um, well they go out to either, we've got, a, uh, we've got a jumble, a boat jumble sale coming up, so we might sort of put them for sale for 50p each. See people want them, or if they don't, charity shop, which is a lot of stuff going to happen. Um, other stuff, um, we've got we've got some the boxes. We've got to get rid of all those boxes. An iron that's been <laughs> that we've kept on the boat um, for a long time, and I think I've actually used it once. Um, <laughs> to iron maybe a shirt or a curtain maybe twice i don't know um but uh, they irons don't get used we don't iron anything so that's the sort of decluttering that we're that we're getting into um you might you might have wondered what this bag is one of our little storage uh, packing cubes i keep a load of sort of wires cables in that charging leads um there's a couple of hard drives in there and i really need to set to and sort those out because there's sort of duplicate cables and stuff like that sometimes useful to have um but you know decluttering is a is a bit of a it's a bit of an ongoing process so we're we're trying our hardest to get get down to having um almost nothing um apart from what we absolutely must have and the you know it, it is it's such a hard thing i mean you know the conmari method would say you know pick it up hold it if it doesn't spark joy out it goes but it, i tell you it blooming well isn't that easy I suppose, you know, if you're not, if you, if you don't have any emotion apart from joy, then um, maybe, maybe it'd be easy. But it blooming well isn't. You know, I'm emotionally attached to all sorts of rubbish. <laughs> I don't know why, but it, it, it's just the way it is. I think most people are like that. Um, but we're... We're getting there, I think. We get, we are getting there, and I, you know, I'm sort of enjoying the journey of really deciding what to what to get rid of, and so on and so on. So that's um, 
that's a bit of an update on our uh, decluttering KonMari process that we're going through at the moment. The boat's getting there. Um, we're out and about at the moment. Wendy's uh, got a dentist appointment, so I'm, I'm waiting for her. Um, the boat's in a bit of a mess at the moment because we're we're sort of moving everything around and trying to trying to redecorate and and so on and so on. Um, trying to sort of spruce up the the outside of the boat as well. Uh, I've just ordered some uh, new sort of um, coach line tape to go along the side. So that's that's going to be an interesting process to get that on straight. Um, but <laughs> the stripe along the side is 12 meters long. So um, <laughs> that's like 40 feet. <laughs> so so we'll see. Um, we'll see how that goes. But I do have uh, an existing coach line to go by, which is it's sort of painted on, but it's faded and looks horrible. Um, so we'll be doing that. Uh, I'll show you. Actually, I'll probably video that because that'll be a good comedy sketch, I think. But, <laughs> but there you are. So that's it for uh, this decluttering video, a uh, bit of an update. Um, this is what we're getting up to in the UK. I know people were hoping for um, more updates about the UK, and we will be doing these uh, weekly videos for you. Um, so stay tuned. I think we've got a couple of rallies um, to go, but pretty soon, I mean, we're we're sort of mid-April, but the 24th of June, we're on the tunnel again, so it's not far away. Stay tuned for that and everything in between. See you again soon. Bye.